Good evening, everybody. It's Dr. Gloria Pope here with Black Girl Everything. And I'm excited because today's a Thursday and I actually missed my Tuesday interview. So I'm very excited about my interview today. So I tell everybody, what's your name? My name is Alexandria and I'm the creator of Lux Money. Lux Money. I really love your name, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. What made you come up with it? Um, so I wanted something that screamed like luxury from the beginning. So that's why I picked the Lux. And then Monet is like a play on my middle name. It's Lamont. So, yeah. Oh, okay. So it's a little bit of you and a little bit of luxury. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Okay. So tell me a little bit about your business. What do you do? Um, we have quality um, hair accessories. So hair accessories just to enhance your um, hair care journey. Right now we have only ex hair accessories, but we are looking to kind of branch out into hair and like, like just hair products for all hair types. Cool, cool, cool. So explain to me what you mean by hair accessories. Are you talking about like clips and stuff like that? Um, both. So right now we have bonnets. The bonnets are handmade by me. I sew, so bonnets, head scarves, yeah, and um, hair clips, um, bandeau, stuff like that. Okay, so what makes your bonnet special? Because now we're, you know, we're in bonnet central out here in the world. Everybody loves a good bonnet. So tell me, what, what's special about yours? Um, being that they are handmade, um, I do handpick, like the fabric I use, it's quality fabric. I make sure that it, it will last you. It lasts you more than a year. So it's quality, it's handmade. And the colors, it's very vibrant. And I make sure that the way I pick the fabric is sourced from businesses in my community. I'm all about supporting businesses with owners that look like me, women owners. Um, I just want to make sure that my money kind of circulates within my community first before I go outside. So I'm very intentional with how I create the products. No, exactly. Keeping our money black, right? Yes, definitely. 100% agree with you. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So the bonnet, so what type of materials are you actually using? So are they protected for the hair? Because you know yes. our hair is very fragile. Yes, yes. So it's satin bonnets. Okay. No silk, it's satin. And satin lasts a very long time. It's very like, it's good for your edges. It's good for the fragile hair type. So it protects against just like the friction against the pillow. So it's perfect for that. And okay, it perfect. doesn't like keep stains. So it's perfect uh -huh. to just rinse it out, wash it, and the oil doesn't stain the satin fabric. Okay, cool. So I have another question for you. Do you make little baby bonnets? Yes, I do. Baby, juniors, um, adults, mommy and me bonnets, all of those. Oh, cool. So somebody's going to the hospital and having a baby, they can get a bonnet and they can get a little matching bonnet for their newborn? Yes. Uh-huh. Definitely. Give now everybody can get little baby bonnets. Mm-hmm. Those okay. are my favorites. Okay, cool. So what made you start this business? Um, I... I like to sew, I enjoy sewing. And I remember one time when I went up to visit um, some family in PA, I forgot my bonnet. And I'm like, oh man, let me just run to the store. And I realized, oh, it's not that simple. In some communities, a bonnet is not that easy to get. So I went to the store. I mean, store. bonnets aren't everywhere. I know, right? I thought that, but I was proven wrong. So I went to the store to like get a bonnet and I ended up having to get like a scarf and my hair was just messed up from there on out. Like I, my hair looks terrible. I had like my Afro book out. And I'm just like, oh man, I have to cover it for the whole time because this is not going to work. But yeah. Oh, that's so sad. I felt like if I can make them, make them at home, I'll have enough to carry with me. And I'm like, here I am making quality bonnets for myself. Why not share it with like other people? Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. So how long have you been in business? Um, we're fairly new. So January was our first pop-up. So I officially feel like January is when we started. A 2021? Yes. Oh, you're a newbie. Yes, very new. Oh, that's so cool. So you guys have just been doing bon bon um, excuse me, pop-ups. Yes, pop-ups. There is a website, but it's we're revamping it. All right, listen, website design. Uh-huh. Okay, listen, I know. it is like the roughest thing alive, roughest thing mm -hmm. alive. And I've been updating mine. I have this new fancy thing where I'm actually now have a page where I'm actually promoting people's businesses on it. They're actually listed uh -huh. on my website now, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, but it's a lot. It's definitely it a lot. I still have another 40 businesses to add to it. Wow. Yeah. Now I'm going to keep on getting because people are requesting to be put on. So it takes, uh -huh. it takes some time. But it only takes me five minutes for each business to get it up on there. It's just honestly find the, the hours within a day to get it done. Oh, okay. And how do you request to get on there? We'd love to be on it. Me. I'll send you an email. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. 
Oh, yeah, so you get your business listed. So where's your business? Where are you located? I'm located in the Bronx, New York. Oh, you are in the Bronx. I yeah. thought you were a New Yorker. Yes. Uh-huh, I am. Oh, so that means you're like close to me because I'm right here in Mount Vernon. Oh, very close. Yeah. Gosh, I'm, I'm surprised I never seen you at a pop-up then. Oh, because I've been mostly doing pop-ups. It's hard for me to find pop-ups in the Bronx. I know. That's why I do them. Okay, great, great. I yeah, the Bronx and like Westchester. Yeah, you know, you, you well, you head out to like Brooklyn, where it's like pop up central. Yes, yes Brooklyn, Harlem, definitely. Yeah, I know. It's, it's so saturated. Mm hmm. Very. It's like, I feel like we need something in the Bronx. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of people. I know a lot of people who actually do events in the Bronx too. So I'll link you wow. on the mailing list. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So, where do you see yourself going with this business? Um. So my ultimate goal is to have a brick and mortar, like. Beauty supply store, but a little bit different with a little twist on it. Yeah. Okay, don't tell me about the twist. I know, yeah. I won't. Sound special. Yeah. I don't wanna, you gotta yeah. leave people wanting something. So we're gonna find out what this twist is when you open it up. So what is yeah. your plan? Like how many years out are we thinking that you wanna try to get this done? Um, a good year. So I'm hoping by next year I can start to like get the ball rolling, looking for grants, loans, stuff like that. So right now I'm just kind of building up our audience, building up our name, like just the brand quality. So people get to know more about us. So once the brick and mortar opens, they're more excited to come on in. Okay, perfect. Now my question is to you, you're hand sewing all these things. What's gonna yeah. happen when you get thousand orders a day? I know, and that's what I'm running into right now. It's like I get orders and I make the bonnets are like made to order. So once you order, I'll start making it. I'm realizing that I'm either gonna have to bring on more hands that can help me with like the sewing portion because I don't want to cut corners on the quality. Gotcha. I want the quality of our products to be like the main thing. I don't want to cut corners on that. That's kind of cool. You know what you might want to do? You should yeah. like do like a, a, um, a bonnet academy. Oh, okay. <laughs> get little like teenage interns who want to learn how to sew. Uh -huh. Because sewing so is true. such a craft that doesn't, people don't use it anymore. If you That's do, so you reach out to some of these charter high schools mm -hmm. and say, hey, I want to do a program over there. And you have people sew all your bonnets and you use it as a class. Okay, I like that. Because it's a, it's a cool thing. And just even programs, if, if people want to learn how to do it, anybody wants to learn how to do anything, right? So uh -huh. You just got to provide the opportunity for it and then yeah. market it that way. Mm -hmm. You make a whole little killing. I think I have other people, I want to learn how to sew bonnets. And it's not about kind of giving away what you do. Because mm -hmm. the more you share is you're still going to be still going to own your business because everybody's not going to want yeah. to sew. Mm -hmm. yeah. so That's true. a great way. Even teenage interns are good. Mm -hmm. Wow. Interns from the Fashion Institute who need to get hours in. Yeah. I'm a bucket of ideas, by the way. Yeah, a whole lot. I'm like, I'm loving this. Yeah, yeah, that's what happens. He talks to me. I'm like, oh, that's what you could do to make it better. Yeah. I like that. No, well, definitely cool. So you want to do a brick and mortar? Are you going to make it located in the Bronx? Yes, definitely. I feel like there isn't a lot of, um, or I don't know of any um, Black-owned beauty supply store, and I know that we spend a lot of our money at beauty supply stores, so it's like... Yep. It's usually not our people there. Yes, exactly. At all. At all. Some, I you know there's, there's some, not a lot to really matter though. Mm -hmm. But then you always gotta yeah. wonder: Are you really the owner? Or are you just telling us that you? Yeah. Are, mm -hmm. are you just working here? True. Very true. But that's definitely. Mm -hmm. that. So where did you go to high school? Um, Roosevelt. You should know it. Yeah, I know Roosevelt. Yeah, I, know I Roosevelt. went to high school there. <laughs> Yeah, Listen, it's a school. school. <laughs> you can't miss it. Yeah, uh huh. Like you're doing Roosevelt. It was broken up when I went there. Belmont, it was broken up. Oh, so by the time you went, oh, so how old are you? I'm 24. You're a baby. Yeah. I'm with young. a baby business. I'm not a baby, but yes, I'm young. I'm young. No, you are. You're only good, but good for you, though, because that means that you're starting young to try to figure out what you're doing what, as an entrepreneur. You're not waiting until the end of your adulthood to figure it out right mm -hmm. that's good because now you yeah. have a great time to start to do things young black folks is what it is i'm telling you it's where all the money's at mm -hmm. exactly. yes very true exactly. mm -hmm. so, do, so you and i'm an educator so girl let me know about that what do you who do you educate i'm a teacher kindergartners 
Yeah. I love educators. I'm, you know, my doctorate is actually in educational leadership. Wow, beautiful. I'm actually an educator. That is really nice. Yeah, yeah, yes. I love that. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love, it. I love early childhood yeah. and I love adult Ed education. So I do it all. Like, definitely. Me you have too. little five year olds. You should have them like sew in your little five year old class. You have little kid labor. Oh, my. I'm so scared with that. I'm like, oh, I'm nervous. They're you very busy the body. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. We practice knitting. How to sometimes. make your own little baby bonnets. Mm -hmm. the That'd be good. So, if somebody wants a customized bonnet, how would they order from you? Um, I do have a website, so you can go to the website and just do customize. Or if that's like too tedious, you can hit me up on Instagram. It's at Lux Monet, at Lux underscore Monet. Lux underscore Monet. Perfect. And what's your website? Uh, www.luxmonet.com. Okay, perfect. All right. Thank you so much for your time today. Hopefully everybody will check you out Thank and you get yourself a specialized me. bonnet. You do bonnets for really short haircuts like mine? Yes. <laughs> I'm yes, I do. You can wear bonnets and I have scarves. I know. Yes. Now I'm, you know, I got to, I don't do anything. Like only time I really brush my hair and put on a do-rag is when I got to go outside for real. Past that, I just I wear my own natural. Mm-hmm. True, true, true. And that's good. I like that. I ain't got time. <laughs> It was a pleasure having right. so here. Mm -hmm. You just can't let it chill. Mm -hmm. So, I miss if you want to tell anybody one thing special today? What would you want to share? Um, one thing I'd like to share is self care is the best care, especially now. So please make sure you guys are taking care of yourself and get your body to take care of your hair too. They better. Yeah. <laughs> True, true. Thank you for having us. Well, thank you so much for your time today. We'll talk soon. You too. Yes, please.